welcome back to Let's Play Sweet Odin. This is your host, Hawk. Now, on the last episode, Flick came back. And uh, he helped us take the Fortress of Garan, but he got a little overconfident and tried to take Milch's castle, and he lost. So, we're doing a little bit of reconnaissance now to defeat this poisonous flower. But before we do that, I want to go talk to this person. Quincy. She's just a hunter. But, uh, well, she wants to make a name for herself, so you know what? Let's help her do that. What does it matter who's gonna win? Who's doing the right thing? That's who I join. Oh, what a bandwagon fan. Ah, oh, yep. We need 37 more recruits before she'll even think about joining us. Because she's a bandwagon fan. Well, who needs her? We don't need her right now. Alright, so we're gonna go and head over here to the first, uh, well, first we got some mad ivy to deal with. So once we defeat this mad ivy, we'll head on over to the uh, first town over there and see if we can do a little reconnaissance. And how do we do reconnaissance, viewers? Well, we talk to random townsfolk. Talking to random townsfolk is kind of tedious. And, you know, in every RPG you play, it's, uh, there's a whole bunch of, like, random townsfolk, and you don't want to talk to all of them, because that's kind of annoying, but you know what? They always have something interesting to say. I will be honest with you, viewers. Uh, before I started doing, uh, let these Let's Play walkthroughs, I, I, uh, I didn't always talk to the random townsfolk, but now that I am, I find that the game is a lot more interesting, a lot more backstory. Oh, and, uh, you saw that Pawn died there. Um... Yeah, we need to level up Pawn. It's not going to be easy, because uh, he's in the front and he's under-leveled, but, uh, well, just do the best you can with him. He'll eventually get some levels. It's a little, it'll be a little tough in the beginning, but once he gets around to level, like, 15, 20, it'll, it'll be a little easier for you. Alright, so we're here in Tay Inn. Let's, uh, let's go check out the inn. Let's see. Well, this is an inn slash item shop, so what do they have for sale? Ooh, some good stuff. A killer crystal. And they got some yellow flower seeds and some yellow paint. So we want to buy one of each of those. The yellow flower seeds and the yellow paint. And um, if you want to buy another killer crystal, we already got one on the dwarf pass. But uh, if you want another one, go ahead and buy one there. And we got Hellion. So she's also got a rune, but, uh, well, we don't know which rune it is. But I'm guessing that she's got one of the 27 true runes like we do. Oh, well, that sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm all for it. More characters to recruit! Yeah! Alright. It's kind of hard to keep track of 108 recruitable characters, isn't it? Especially when you only get a party of six. Yeah, that, that is, uh, well, I don't know if it's a downside to this game, but, um, yeah, it does kind of suck. Well, I got some treasure chests over here, and, uh, what's this? The Blinking Mirror! The single most important item in the game! So you want to go ahead and, uh, whoever has it, pass it on over to Tyr and never take it off ever ever never ever never never ever ever yeah it's really important um and i'll show you what it does here in a little while but uh for now just put it on tier and never take it off the blinking mirror is the most important item in the game just uh just remember that viewers i um i actually had a playthrough once where i didn't put it on tier and um a character left the party for an extended amount of time, and, uh, well, I was without it for a while, and it was a bummer. So, don't let what happened to me happen to you, viewers. Oh, yeah, well, that's what we're trying to figure out. What is it? Really? Well, I would love to meet that person. All right, well, let's talk to some more people, then. I, I can't speak French viewers. I, I, I cannot pronounce that name. Oh, Liu Khan. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh, 
so we need to go make meet this uh, Liukon fellow. And he'll create a potion that makes that fog harmless. I'm sorry if my voice is uh is a little strange. My my throat hurts pretty bad. I went to uh uh, baseball game yesterday, Team Japan versus Team Australia, and I, well, I cheered a lot, and, uh, well, now my throat hurts a lot, so. I apologize. Oh, who's this guy? AK. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. AK. Kind of like the letters A and K. AK. Oh, well, yeah, we gotta get a little more experience oh by the way there's your there's your boat here you can leave anytime yeah we gotta get a little few more levels before we can uh, get him to join no biggie though we'll get those soon enough but for right now I want to come in here to the uh, uh, blacksmith and uh, I want to sharpen some weapons of course I won't make you uh, sit through all of it I'll kind of just show you the levels before and then I'll show you the levels after I'll do it all off screen and I'm back so I sharpened uh, mostly everybody's weapon to uh, level 12, except for one person. Can you guess who it is? Grimio! So yeah, um, sharpen everybody's weapon, except for Grimio's, up to level 12. Alright, and there are two more houses up here, but they are storyline related, and uh, well, we'll go to them soon enough. So that's all we can do in this town for now. So let's go ahead and go south. All right, recon. Let's uh, let's check out the item store or oh, the hardware store. Sorry. What do you have for sale, sir? Oh, some good stuff. An earth crystal. That's not it's not bad if you like defensive magic. We got some blue flower seeds, and we've got some blue paint. So you want to go ahead and buy those as well. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and head down this way. We got an appraiser. Oh, a man named Jabba. He's an expert appraiser. Oh, that sounds like a pretty good challenge. Well, yeah, let's see. We don't have anything to appraise yet, viewers. But uh, there is an enemy just outside of this city, or, well, I guess a little town village thing, that, uh, well, dropped something that he cannot appraise. It's called a nameless urn. So, uh... I'm gonna go get that as soon as I'm done talking to all these random townsfolk. Why? I don't wanna forget it. I need that guy. Oh, he's retired. Huh. Weak. I'll retire when I'm dead, viewers. I'll be making these Let's Play series for, well, years to come, I hope. Cause this is really a, a lot of fun, actually. I, I I was I've always played video games, uh, but uh, now that I'm not playing for myself, it's uh, it's really fun, actually. So I hope you're enjoying watching them as much as I'm enjoying making them. Yeah, nobody over there. All right. Oh, well, there's somebody over here to talk to. Latte. That is actually the name of my favorite Japanese baseball team, Latte. Latte is a. Uh, is a Korean chocolate slash gum slash drink maker. They make some very good chocolate. All right, let's uh, let's take this boat here. All right, and let's go down the stream, merrily, 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 all the way down this stream here. Yeah, we got uh, a little little trip all the way down here. It does kind of take. Well, it doesn't take too long, but. Just enough to be annoying, viewers. You know how games like to be. Alright, still heading down. And uh, if you look at the map, you can kind of see where we're going. There's a little white dot down there to the south. And, uh, oh, what's going on here? Rapids? Oh, man! Bummer! Okay, well, we got a cool new item that I want to show you the uh, blinking mirror. I want to use that because I don't feel like going all the way back there. Because I just came all the way down here just to be hindered. What shall we do? You're right, we can't go any further. Yeah, we need a not ordinary boat. Or 
Come on, man. I can speak English. An extraordinary boat. If an ordinary boat can't do it, then an extraordinary boat can do it. But uh, before we go find this extraordinary boat, uh, well, I really want to go ahead and um, take a bath. Cool. All right, yeah, the reason why I want to take a bath, uh, six dudes in a bath, is because uh, I appraised this uh, vase and I put it on pawn. Um, a long time ago and then I totally forgot about it because he betrayed us because he's a jerk but uh now that I remember he had the base I figured I'd put it in the bath and let's go ahead here and talk to uh, a rock not the rock um, and uh, go ahead and drop off some stuff that we don't need so remember those that uh, yellow paint and yellow flower seeds yeah we don't need those we don't need the blue ones as well we don't need these crystals either Anything else? You know what? I think... I think that'll do it. No. I want to go ahead and get rid of anything. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and get rid of uh, the medicine that didn't have full uh, stock on it. Because, well, when I go to get it later, it will be at full stock. And that's pretty nice. Alright, yeah, and I want to take... Uh, some stuff off of, yeah, I want to take that stuff off Grimmel and I want to pass some medicine around and make sure everybody's got an even amount of medicine. So everybody can heal everybody. Alright, cool. Now that we've opened up our inventory, let's take this elevator. Thanks, Mr. Sergey. Let's head to the basement. Now let's go talk to Miss Vicky and have her teleport us again. Oh, she's talking about viewers. I mean, she can do teleport. Alright, so we're back here in Tayin, and uh, let's go ahead and hear to uh, this house here and see what's uh, what's this guy got to say. Gen. Who the hell are we? That's not very nice. Although, I'd probably say that something like that too if some random person came into my house and tried to talk to me by pushing the X button. I'd say, who the hell are you? Pressing your X button at me. No, I wouldn't say that. All right, so yeah, we need a boat. Give us a boat, man. All right, well, he seems to be up to the challenge. Oh yeah, an ordinary boat will never make it. That's why we need the extraordinary boat. I just got some ideas, that's cool. But, uh, old Camondole. Who's old Camondole? <laughs> he's half dead. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's have him build a boat for us before he's full dead, huh? All right, Gen joins, so we'll get rid of Pawn. Not like it's, uh, I'm gonna put him back in the party soon. We just need Gen and this half dead Camondole in our party just for a little bit of storyline. Then I'll take him out and put Pawn and, uh, Kyrgyz back in. You know, I really like the way this uh, this guy Gen talks because it's funny enough in English, but like I know exactly what he's saying in Japanese as well, and I can imagine it, and it's super funny. Cause like you actually, cause sometimes you know, being here in Japan, sometimes you hear young people talk to old people like this, and it's super disrespectful, but uh, it is kind of funny. I laugh at a distance. I don't speak like this, viewers, in English or in Japanese. Delinquents. He's either half dead. Hmm. Well, Victor is kind of a delinquent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy there, Grimio. Hey, geezer. Hey, geezer. I'm gonna start calling my dad that. Hey, geezer. Actually, viewers, I do have a confession to make. I just call my dad old man, actually. When I call him up on the phone every once in a while, I say, Hey, old man, how's it going? And then we talk about basketball. Because we like the NBA. But I'm not going to tell you which team I like. I'm going to let you guess. They are quite strong, though. Just about every year. 
But yeah, so I just call my dad old man. So there's something you didn't know about me. I'm not sure if you care or not, but there you are. What is that? It's a machine that moves by burning oil. Sounds ridiculous, I know. I am a uh, electric car man myself, viewers. I like the electric car. Hybrids are also cool. I get it. You run out of charge sometimes and you have to go to the gas. But um, I'm not big on emissions. I'm not one of those big global warming freaks, but uh, I mean, you have to know that all that emission is not good for your body. Yeah, let's cut a recon. It's fragile. What? You mean dot dot dot? We have to carry it? How's it gonna get there? It's not like we have horses in this game. Although, we do have Vicky, so like, I feel like Vicky could just like, teleport it. Uh, but that would make the game too easy, so no, we gotta carry it. Alright, cool. Half dead on the party. So, as I call uh, Kuromimi, I call him Black Ears, I will be calling Camandol Half Dead from now on. Because that name is much better than his actual name. Alright, heading on south. Oh, a battle. Well, it's only a creeper. I actually do use creeper as an insult for my friends. I'm like, dude, you're a creeper. I, I say that a lot. So, um, I thought it was very funny when I saw that there was an enemy in this game called a creeper. I actually messaged one of my friends and said, hey, look, you're in the game. And he told me to shut up. All right, well, anyway, we're back here in Recon, so the game moves for us. We're not, I'm not actually moving here. Oh man, Flick did it all by himself. <laughs> that's what she said. I'm a big fan of that's what she said jokes viewers. And if you're asking if I like The Office, I do. I don't know, that's a rude way to say it, but uh, hey. Whatever advances the storyline any quicker. So let's head on over to the uh, to the inn here. Damn that old man. Yeah, let's call it an early night. Alright. Oh, Victor's snoring. That's gotta be hard to... You know, I myself am not a very good sleeper. And if somebody snores, it's really hard for me to sleep. So Victor and Flick are wheezing and snoring over there. I don't think I'd be able to sleep. Oh, kind of like Grimio here. Oh, he gets up and he's gonna watch me sleep. What a creeper! I Grimio. I like how he's talking to nobody, but like he still feels the name to, or he still feels the need to like say his name. Oh well, teach his own. I Hawk will walk you through this game. I Hawk will then go eat some spaghetti because I Hawk, uh, well, I like spaghetti. And I'm not a terrific cook, so spaghetti is one of the few things that I can make well. Uh, one of the few things that I Hawk can make well. Sorry, I'll just start talking like Grimio. No, I'll stop, because I can guess that would be really annoying, so I'll go ahead and stop it now. Cool, we got a new boat, but it looks exactly like the old boat. Launching ceremony. Or we can just get in the boat and go. And guess what, viewers? I'm going to make you watch me go all the way back. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do it off screen, so I'll meet you on the other side. Alright, we're here. So let's see if this works. 
Yeah, it works. Cool. Lucan's Hermitage. It's over here. Anything? Nothing. Got some wood. We got the same music as Recon and Tayin, though. So, cheap plug time if you like the music of this game. I also make a playlist with the original soundtrack, so go ahead and check it out. Oh, Lucan. Lucan. How the heck do you pronounce that? That's a weird name. Yeah, I want you to prepare some medicine. I'm trying to kill that flower general. Who said that? Who's there? Who's there? Knock, knock. Oh, it's Millage on a dragon. Is that the same dragon from earlier in the game? Is that black? I hope not. Black was so nice to us. Although he was employee of the um, of the Imperial Army, so it could very well be. Yeah, Tail's the best. Not you, you flower man. Hmm. Yes, it is me, Tia Miko. Whatever. He goes his way, and I go my way. Your sweet flower? It's not so sweet. It kills people. Prison? What? Like hell you will. That's, that's, uh, Yukon's voice. Like hell you will. You'll not take me anywhere. I would say that you're more of a sissy than Wanda because well, you're the flower general. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, well that is quite humiliating. I don't know why we didn't like attack him. That would have been the thing to do. Attack him and just ended it right then and there. But well, then the game wouldn't be nearly as interesting. And we'd miss one of the best scenes in the game. So, um, well, I want to see that scene. I want to show it to you. So, uh, it's a good thing we didn't attack him. Cool. And we get some black paint. Nothing we can use now, but pretty shortly we can start using all these paints. Very shortly. Just be patient. All right, let's board the boat. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and use our blinking mirror because, well, I love using this blinking mirror. It's super convenient. You can just go back to your castle and Vicky can just teleport you anywhere. It's amazing, isn't it, viewers? The game, you know, starts to speed up at this point. It progresses a whole lot faster now because you don't have to, you don't have to walk or take a boat to every single place. It's really nice. All right, let's see. No, let's... Oh, the castle was remodeled again. Boo, boo, castle remodels. Okay, well, this is where I wanted to go. I wanted to talk to Mr. Matthew. Oh, well, Matthew's always got an idea. That's super convenient, viewers, that Matthew always has an idea. Yeah, well, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that, so... I'm glad Matthew can. And I hope you can too as well, viewers, but I cannot. I wish I had enough money for a Tesla car. An electric one, though, of course. Alright, cool, we got Matthew's letter. Now let's go ahead and head on over this way and talk to Mr. Sanchez. And because, well, I kind of told you what I was going to do earlier in the game, but um, I'm going to get rid of Half Dead and uh, again and put Pawn and Kirkus back in because I want to level those two up. It's very important that I level up Pawn and uh, somewhat important that I level up Kirkus right now. So. We'll go ahead and put them in. Alright, cool. We got those two guys in our party. And we got 
got to change our formation, of course. Alright, and let's get on back down. But uh, before I go talk to Vicky, I want to go talk to The Rock. Fine, thanks. Alright, let's go and drop off that black paint. Alright, cool. Anything else? No, we're good. Alrighty. Now let's, uh, I keep forgetting that I can just, uh, Take the elevator, but while I'm going on down this way, let's uh, head on over here to the end. This would be a good place to uh, rest up and save. And that is all the time that I have for uh, this video. So on the next video, we take this letter to uh, Kimberly and Tesla, and well, hopefully they join us and help us get Mr. Uliukan. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.